website, guys. I haven't done a late night video, I don't think ever, but this is gonna be one of them. My headlights went out earlier today. My left headlight, I had to pick up some lights just to fix my headlight while I'm on the road. That is crazy. Let me let you guys check it out. So this headlight is working. This one is out. So I have to fix that before I get on the road. I'm gonna pick up one of these H7 hell uh, front headlights. It's supposed to work. It's the same model number as the headlight that came with the car. So let's see if it works. I don't know if you can see that, but this is the symbol that came on the car while I was driving to let me know that it was something wrong with the headlight. So let's see if we can fix that. Inside the Kias, you have, this is the low beam, this is the high beam. This cap screws right off, and then the light is inside of here. So it's very easy. From here, you can see this little thing here is the light. That little thing there. So let me take that out. Here's the light that the fuse blue. You can see by this black color. And this is like how it looks. This is just like a 12 volt plug. It goes right in. Just like a regular outlet. Just plugs right into the light socket. But this one is done. So this is the new light here. Same thing. But can, you can see this one is uh, it's good to go. Again, this is the company. Hell, I called it Hell R before, but I couldn't see that that was an A because it's dark. But it's the same 12 volt, 55 watts. I'm gonna change this for an LED light, but this will work for now. There's a little notch right there. As you can see, this side doesn't have it. This side has the notch. You just line that up with the notch that's on the receptacle and you're good to go. Okay, once you get it back in, I'm trying to get down there, it clicks right back into place. Now let's check to see if everything fixed. Okay, this is the light that we fixed, but we're gonna have to pay attention to the other light because when one goes, the other one may not be far behind. So we do have another light just in case. All right, we got that fixed, I'm so happy. I'm gonna show you what it looks like, but I wanna show you guys the car. I haven't showed you guys the car and the battery system that I updated. So I'm gonna show you guys that really quick. Fix the light. This is what it looks like. Everything corrected on the dashboard. So these new cars are great when it comes to that. I like that. Right, this is a quick look. This is my bedding system here. It's pretty nice. I still have my sheets on here, but I'm six foot three and I fit in there. I did add a TV. It's kind of big. I'm gonna switch it out for a smaller one, but for now, it's big. It swivels out. I'll show you how it looks as it swivels out in a second. I redid my battery system. As you knew before, it was things all over the place, wires everywhere, but now, as you can see, I fixed it up. I'll give you a look from the other side. How the battery system looks from the other side. As you can see, I fixed the wiring, made it look more professional. Still have my NOCO charger there. And as I said, I added this piece to hold the TV, but I have to get a smaller uh, TV to put in here. But I'm gonna show you how everything looks and how it works. Pretty cool about this TV is that I can swivel it out if I was cooking outside on my outdoor kitchen thing is you can swivel it out and it has all my apps on it which is pretty cool so as you can see it's connected to the internet now you can see up top it's a Roku television it's kind of big but it works I have my fridge it's hooked up power is on and let me show you something else I have I have a PlayStation hooked up to it so you can turn the playstation on and then you just go to the playstation on the screen oh, it went over too much and let's see here there we go and again we are outside. <laughs> 
we're in the parking lot so that we can see as the bus going by. But here we go. I'm gonna connect this to the internet now. Okay, we all connected to the internet. Gonna check the internet connection. And everything usually comes out well when we check the internet. There we go, everything is successful. But I have everything hooked up in the car. So everything is working well with this so we can go back now. And again, this is the home screen. So let me go back and show you some of the other things that we have hooked up on here. We have a portable power station by Ampro. This one is not available anymore, but we also have another inverter back here that's hooked up to the water pump with uh, USB outlets that are always on. So I still use those. That's powering that little light that's up there. But the portable power station is powering this fridge. This is a 45 liter upstream and fridge. And it's pretty good. And it was pretty good capacity. Something you guys don't see is this new USB fan that I put up. This keeps me a little bit warm, a little bit cool in the uh, summer. Another thing that I got was these window covers. These are from WeatherTech. You put your car information in and they come and they fit the size. That's the back window. I have to fix that one a little bit better, but they fit the size and cover your window and they stick right in. Again, this is how the TV looks from the side. So I can also sit outside the car here and watch TV. It also tilts to the front where I can sit sideways and watch the television. So it's pretty cool. And again, my battery is full. I don't know if you can see it, but it's at 100%. There you go, it's a little bit closer there, it's 100%. And there on the other side is the solar charge controller. So it's pretty cool. So as you can see, that was the uh, tour of the inside of the car. I do have a roof rack that I took off, just for the time being, just to save some money on gas, uh, because I'm not using it right now. But when I go on my adventures, I put the roof rack back on there. If you guys were wondering about solar, I have 250 watts of portable solar that I do uh, have that I can put onto the roof or I can put it anywhere on the car on the outside of the car when I get to my location. When I have the roof rack, I have an extra 100 watts of solar that's on the roof rack. But besides that, you know, I have enough power to get me through in this car. I have over 500 amp hour of batteries bolted down um, I'm not afraid to have it anywhere I go because I'm always parked in like a well-lit location. If somebody's going to come take it, they must really want it because everything is bolted down and you're going to have to have a lot of time in a truck to carry everything. Um, but not saying that it can't happen because I've seen it happen before. And as you know, people in van life, when you go to certain locations and people steal your equipment, if they want it, they're going to get it. But I try to make it a little harder for people to get if they're gonna try to break in and hopefully they get caught in the process. This was a short video just because I had to fix that light before I got on the road. I was so nervous to get on the road without fixing that light so that's why I took my time out and I fixed it before I uh, actually get on the road. But why not show you guys how I fixed the light and show you guys the inside of the car. Uh, some people always ask, you know, if I have things hooked up to the battery of the car. I don't have anything hooked up to the battery of the car when I don't need it. The only thing that I do have that I can hook up, but I, uh, I have, um, how can I say it? I have to plug it in. Is uh, It works off the alternator to charge my batteries, or I have solar to charge the batteries, or I have the the. Uh, DC to DC battery charger to charge my batteries that I showed you in the back. But again, nothing is hooked up to the battery of the car itself while I'm moving, while I'm driving. Now, if my batteries were low, I can hook up the DC to DC charger. All I have to do is connect it. It's one wire, 
and uh, that would charge the batteries when I'm driving. It takes me less than five seconds to plug in, in less than a second. So, and that, that works well too to keep the battery top full. But as you can see, with 500 amp hour, you can be outside for three days playing the video games, TV, watching cable, and you won't burn out the uh, the battery. We'll still say 100%. The only time I really saw the battery go down is when I used my uh, hot plate to make pancakes, the griddle, and that uses 1,000 watts. So with 500 amp hours, it's almost like 6,000 watts. So if you're using a griddle that uses 1,000 watt hours, it's gonna pull the battery down fast while you're using it. So if you use it for an hour, it's gonna take like maybe 10% off your full battery. And then once you turn the griddle off, your battery's gonna go back up to 100% because there's so much amp hours in, the, in that battery, so much wattage that's left over that it's not gonna show a dent. But that's the only time that I actually see the battery going down just a little bit. Thank you guys for watching. That's all for this video, but stay tuned for the next video. I'm gonna be in the camper. This one was just like a quick video. I didn't even think about doing it. You know, I just wanted to film the process of changing out that uh, headlight. I hope that was enjoyable. And if you stuck around this long, thank you for that. Please consider subscribing also, if you're not already subscribed. If you don't know me, it's your first time checking out the channel. I should have said this in the beginning. I'm Ricky, I'm from the Smalls RV Adventures. I travel around the US with my family. We are not full time, but we do spend a lot of time in the vehicles and the camper as we travel around the states. And we would love to have you join us and look at our journeys. Again, please hit the like button, likes are for free. Check out our Smalls RV Adventures store. Check out the Amazon storefront. You know, check us out on Patreon. We have a lot of things to offer, a lot of experience, a lot of how-tos. This whole battery system in the back, I built that myself. My kids helped me. The roof rack, the lights the, that we put on the roof rack, we did all of that ourselves. And we go step-by-step step helping everybody out just to gain some more knowledge. So again, if you stuck around this long, please consider subscribing. I'm Ricky from the Spoils RV Adventures and see you next time.